so I'm big on, I write down, hey, how you doing, sir? Um, I'm big on writing down. I do this every morning and every night. I write my goals down every morning and I write my goals down every night. Um, another thing about me is I'm always, I'm always talking about, hey, this is where we're going. This is the vision. This is the goal. These are the targets, right? And by the way, as a leader, you, you should probably be doing that. You should be constantly reiterating, reiterating the fact that you're going somewhere greater than where you currently are. To your team, to your family, to your coworkers, whatever. You should constantly be doing that. I'm a big believer in doing that, by the way. And um, as much as I do these things, you know, where I'm always talking about goals, it's funny. You could literally talk to... So Adam, he's my business partner. He's he's been in a couple of videos. He's a cool guy. He's a beast. Whatever. Da da da. Um. You can talk to him. Let me actually come over on this side. You can talk to him about how many times I'm constantly throwing out a vision, throwing out. He would. Okay. So literally, actually anybody for that matter, not just Adam or this that. I just use him as an example because he's always around. Um. Right. Because we 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 do business with each other. Yeah. I am always, maybe 50% of my dialogues, 50% of what I'm talking about, literally, I'm not even playing with this, this is true stuff, is probably half of what I'm talking about is always where we're going in the future, the success that we're going to create, the uh, family that I'm, the wife that I'm going to have, the kids that I'm going to have, right? All this good stuff. Constantly, I'm talking about it. Even in the videos that I'm making, I'm constantly talking about it as well, you know? And, um... As much as I talk about this stuff and I write my goals and I'm talking about targets and I'm vision this, vision that, there is no substitute, you guys. There is no substitute. So I'm just reorganizing my vehicle. I hate when there's like, it's unorganized and things aren't where they need to be and this and that. And I gotta be clean, guys. As much as I talk about these things, there's no substitute for the freaking action that you got to take. There's none. There's none. And if you read John C. Maxwell's 17 Irrefutable Laws of Teamwork or Indispensable Qualities of a Team... I can't remember what the book's called. So many indispensable, irrefutable, inquisitable, all these different types of um, terms. I don't want to go the door because I don't feel like starting the car. He talks about the, I think, law number nine. First of all, he has the law of the compass where he's talking about you got to cast a vision. But he also puts more emphasis on law of the price tag where, hey, dude, the team fails when the team members fail to put in the work and pay the price. So don't get it twisted. As much as these you hear these motivational speakers, you hear these people talking about vision this, vision that, which, by the way, I'm an advocate for. You, need, you definitely need to be casting that talking about where you're going to go, telling your subconscious mind that, no, I want more. I want to be successful, all this good stuff. That still isn't a substitute for you going out there and putting in the work, putting in the activity, putting in the hustle, right? Getting your game tight. It's very easy to talk about, oh, I'm going to do this, that, and the other. But it's another thing to pick up the phone and call somebody that you might be a good chance they reject you, right? It's very easy to talk about, man, the business plan this and formulate a business plan, formulate a business plan this, talk about this, talk about that. But it's not as easy as knocking on the door saying, hey, dude, I want to earn your business. Don't forget that, you guys. I just really want to come on here and remind you that, look, guys, go, like, and by the way, I'm not hating on the fact that people talk about goals. I do it all the time. I write them down every morning and every night. I talk, I'm all, like I said, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, 50% of my dialogue is talking about where we're going to go, where we're, maybe 40%, because the other 60% is me not talking, doing work. Now that's a joke. But you get what I'm saying. Sadiq Hedzovic says it best, famous bodybuilder, IFBB pro. He says, vision with no action is a fairy tale and you're fooling yourself. I agree with that. I agree with what Sadiq Hedzovic has to say. Don't fool yourself, you guys. Don't trick yourselves into believing that you talking positive and da, 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 is actually going to substitute and be a uh, secondary way for you to get to success. It's not how it works, you guys. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. 
You got to put in the work. You got to run the miles. You got to do the paces. You got to do the push-ups. You got to... I explain it best like this. Um, well, it doesn't matter. You guys already get the picture. Go out there. Go put in the work. It's uncomfortable. It's You don't want to do it. Nobody wants to do it. But if you can just cons consistently show up and do the do the things that you know you need to do, that vision that you're talking about, those goals that you're talking about, you're going to make them happen. I promise you. I'm in the same boat. I've made some goals happen because I wasn't just talking and I actually made it happen. There's some other goals that I'm reaching for, some other dreams that I'm aspiring to achieve. I just got to keep putting in the work. It's going to happen. I promise you, you guys. So go out there. Go out there and do it. Go out there and crush it. Don't just talk. Show up. Put in the work. Grant Cardone says the number one rule of success is to show up. Just show up. Keep making things happen. Great things will come your way. God bless you. Improve every day. Let's go.